Hello, and welcome. Today, we're going to explore a concept that's both simple and profound, how we see ourselves. You see, most people go through life never truly knowing who they are beyond labels, roles, or societal expectations. But what if you could look deeper? What if, instead of seeing yourself only through your accomplishments or your failures, you saw something truer and more lasting? In today's journey, we'll walk together through this idea, changing the way you see yourself. I remember one evening, years ago, sitting on a mountaintop as the sun set, casting the sky in beautiful colors. That day, I had been wrestling with my own doubts, questioning my path, and wondering if I was enough. As I watched the sky, I realized something powerful. Just as the colors of the sky change without losing the essence of the sky itself, so do we. No matter what role or label we wear, we remain who we truly are, unchanged at the core. But how often do we get stuck seeing ourselves only through what's temporary? We identify with our jobs, our achievements, our status, and yes, even our mistakes. And while these things are part of our story, they are not us. Imagine if you could let go of these layers, like peeling back the petals of a flower to reveal its true beauty within. In fact, we can start right now, with a simple reflection. Take a moment, close your eyes, and think of one role or label that you often use to define yourself. Now, gently let it go, like setting down a heavy bag. Feel the weight lift, and realize that without this label, you are still here. Still complete. Still you. It may seem subtle, but this practice of seeing beyond labels can transform how you live. When we are no longer bound by who we think we should be, we open up space for who we truly are. Just as a flower doesn't question its beauty, but simply blooms, so too can you embrace your true nature, free from the need to fit into any mold. And when you start to see yourself this way, you'll find that many things fall away. Self-doubt, fear, even that critical voice that sometimes lives in our heads. Have you ever noticed how, despite all the noise, there's a quiet part of you that feels steady and calm? This is your truest self, like a silent lake that reflects the sky but is untouched by it. One of the greatest lessons I've learned is that we already have everything we need to find peace and happiness. Often, we think we need to become someone new, someone, better. But the truth is, true growth comes not from changing ourselves into someone else, but from uncovering who we've always been. Nature teaches us this lesson well. A tree doesn't compete with the trees around it or try to grow differently. It simply grows into its own shape, finding strength in its roots and reaching for the light. Imagine if you could approach yourself with that same trust and patience. To simply grow, moment by moment, without judgment. So, I invite you to try something. The next time you catch yourself feeling inadequate or comparing yourself to others, pause and breathe. Recognize that these thoughts are just clouds passing through the sky, they don't define the sky itself. And in the same way, these judgments don't define you. Imagine your heart like that lake, calm and reflective, unaffected by whatever thoughts drift by. In the end, changing how we see ourselves is not about rejecting who we are, but embracing it fully. Recognizing that we are enough, just as we are. This realization can be the foundation for everything else in life, our relationships, our work, our happiness. Because when you see yourself clearly, you begin to see others clearly too. Compassion flows naturally from a heart that is at peace. Thank you for being here with me today, for sharing this moment. May you find peace and strength in simply being you. And remember, this journey of self-discovery isn't about changing who you are but uncovering who you've always been. That is the beauty of true growth. If this message touched your heart today, please consider subscribing to The Mindful Path. Together, let's walk this journey of self-discovery, one step at a time.